We have ordered 17,000 from China. Yes. So. That we would pay for, roughly $25,000 each. By the way, anyone who says, oh, maybe the, you don't need that many ventilators. You're saying 30,000 ventilators. You don't need that many. You don't really believe you need that many. You know how you know I really, really believe that number? Because we are paying $25,000 per ventilator, and we are broke. And the last thing I want to do is buy a single ventilator that I don't need. The complexity with ventilators is we ordered 17,000 from China. Uh, so did California, so did Illinois, so did the federal government, so did Italy. And what's happening is uh, China, the orders into China, are very slow in coming out. Exactly how and why, we're not sure. It's just that they're, they have such a tremendous demand. Of the 17,000, we only have a firm expectation on 2,500. Is that right, Kara? Yes. Only have a firm expectation on 2,500. They're supposed to come in over the next two weeks. But look at the bizarre situation we wind up in. Every state does its own purchasing. So New York is purchasing, California is purchasing, Illinois is purchasing. We're all trying to buy the same commodity, literally the same exact item. So you have 50 states competing to buy the same item. We all wind up bidding up each other and competing against each other, where you now literally will have a company call you up and say, well, California just outbid you. It's like being on eBay with 50 other states bidding on a ventilator. And you see the bid go up because California bid, Illinois bid, Florida bid, New York bids, California rebids. That's literally what we're doing. I mean, how inefficient. And then FEMA gets involved and FEMA starts bidding. And now FEMA is bidding on top of the 50. So FEMA is driving up the price. <laughs> what sense does this make? The federal government, FEMA, should have been the purchasing agent, buy everything, and then allocate it by need to the states. Why would you create a situation where the 50 states are competing with each other and then the federal government through FEMA comes in and competes with the rest of it?